Okay, so we're out again this afternoon. Uh, first gonna pop past, uh, see if that cheetah's around. Um, then carry on, catch up with the mungains and whatever else the afternoon has in store for us. So the cheetah's moved off. Um, it didn't look too 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 hard for him this afternoon. Um, we'll try and catch up with some other things. Um, we've just spotted some vultures actually uh, coming down into the tree line uh, just in front of us here. We're going to go and investigate and see what's happening there. This is exactly where we left uh, the lions this morning, the Mungen pride this morning. Um, you can see the vultures up in front of us here, uh, landing in the tree. So it's, at some point during the day, it looks like they've knocked something down. This is what we've been waiting for. Is that kudu? No, what's up? Uh, So at some point uh, during the day, the Mungen Pride has taken down a wildebeest. Um, it looks like they've cleaned up quite a lot of it. So probably not, not too long after we left uh, this morning, unfortunately, we didn't get all the, that action, but uh, this is great, great sighting. So we, we often use other animals um, to, to help us out in the bush, uh, the alarm call of a squirrel, um, the alarm call of a Franklin or something like that, an impala, um, and also up in the sky, which makes it a little bit easier to see, is something like a vulture. Um, so that just worked out perfectly. Um, the vultures, even on a cool day like this, when they shouldn't be that active, because there's not many thermals, um, around there they are flying in to a kill pointing it out for us um, so it worked out well Lions, uh, like other predators, will also um, feed on the bones or try and get the, the, the smaller bones that they can actually chew on. Um, first of all, to get into the uh, bone marrow, uh, and second, uh, obviously, the calcium and that will help with their own bones. So after all of that, um, most of the lions are settling down now, big full bellies. Uh, we're going to carry on uh, and see what else is out there this afternoon and then check in with them again a bit later. We just uh, got a visual of a breeding herd of elephants crossing the road and coming in towards some mud wallows. So we're going to try and intercept them here. Um,
Nice big pregnant cow. They seem a little on edge uh, for some reason. But in fact we're we're not too far away from where where we left the lions and the wind is kind of coming in this direction so they're probably picking up the scent of the lions on that on that wildebeest kill. The fact that one lying down there in the, in the little mud wallow um, kind of indicates that they're not too worried about us actually. It's just something on, the, something on the air that they're smelling, something on the wind, but not necessarily us. Good afternoon, baby. So there's a great example there. Um, when you give the animals a bit of space and a bit of respect, let them come into your space rather than trying to break into their space. Um, keep calm, keep quiet. They'll eventually come around uh, and carry on their way without, little, without as much disturbance. We just checked back in uh, quickly with the Mangean Pride on our way home. Um, they're just finishing off the remains of that wildebeest that they killed. Uh, nice to see the Ottawa male also coming out again. Uh, usually there's a little bit more aggression around the last remaining bits uh, of a kill, but they seem to be quite civilized about it this evening, so that's quite nice. Um, we're going to wrap it up for tonight, and uh, we'll see you again in the morning.